Welcome back to Cooking with Hua. Today I'll be making apple turnovers. This will be my second day of my 12 days to Christmas, the perfect dessert for the holiday season. My apple turnover recipe is super easy. You'll need two to three apples, one fourth cup brown sugar, one tablespoon salted butter, one teaspoon ground cinnamon, and one tablespoon cornstarch. I'm also using frozen puff pastry sheets, and you can get this at your local grocery market. You also need one egg and a tablespoon of water for your egg wash later. You'll want to peel your apples and then slice and then chop into cubes. Depending on the texture of your apples, you can make it big cubes or smaller cubes. I like to have it at a medium. I end up using two and a half apples only. Add in your cornstarch and also your ground cinnamon to the chopped apples. Next, add in your brown sugar. And don't worry, all the measurements of this recipe will be listed down below. Mix everything together until they're well combined. I forgot to mention you will need one tablespoon of lemon juice. So go ahead and squeeze about one tablespoon to your apple mixture and lightly toss everything together until everything is combined well together. And then what we're going to do next is go over to the stove. You will need one tablespoon of salted butter and go ahead and melt it in a saute pan and add in your apple mixture. Now, if you're using unsalted butter, then feel free to add in some salt. But since I'm using salted butter, I'm not going to add any additional salt. And go ahead and continue to mix everything on about a medium low until your apples soften. This took about roughly five minutes. Transfer your apple mixture into a separate bowl for it to cool down. And your frozen puff pastry should have been thawing out during this time. So by the time your frozen puff pastry has thawed out, your apple mixture should also be cooled down. So make sure that's really important that you thaw out your frozen puff pastry. You can also make your apple filling the night before and then do the puff pastry the next morning. It takes anywhere from 40 minutes to an hour for the puff pastry sheets to thaw out. And you will get a total of two sheets in this package. Take a rolling pin and go ahead and roll out a little bit of the frozen puff pastry. It should be thawed out now, it won't be so tough. Make sure you keep it a square shape. And once you're done doing that, then take a pizza cutter and cut it in fours. The apple filling should make eight apple turnovers, so make sure that you save enough to make eight. Fill the puff pastry sheets with the apple filling. Fold over one corner of your puff pastry and seal it with the fork. Continue the same process until you're completely done sealing all of your apple turnovers. Now it's time to make the egg wash. You'll need one egg, and then you also take one tablespoon of water Add it to your egg and give it a quick mix and this will be your egg wash for your apple turnover. Brush the apple turnover with your egg wash and brush it generously. My apple turnover is super easy to make and super delicious. Lightly cut three little slits into each of the apple turnover to release the steam when you put it in the oven. Sprinkle some sugar on top of each of the apple turnover and then what you'll want to do is bake it in the oven at 400 degrees for about 20 to 22 minutes. Start checking it at the 20 minute marker and you're going to have some delicious apple turnovers for Christmas Day or New Year's Eve or any time of the year. You can also prepare this a day before Christmas and have it on Christmas morning with your family. I really hope you're enjoying my 12 days of Christmas series. Now make sure you come back tomorrow so you'll get day 3 of my 12 days of Christmas series. Bye guys!